Okay, so here we have a triangle. Well, not one. Well, depends on perspective. It could be one, could be two, it could be three. Depends on the perspective. Well, here we are asked to find several, several different things. First, we are asked to find the length of AD. Now, the length of AD. Can we use sin rule to find the length of AD? No, the sin rule doesn't work. But for, for the sin rule to work, then you need the angle. You need an angle in the triangle. And you need the opposite side to that angle in the triangle. So, our best option here is the cosine rule. So, we're going to apply the cosine rule to part A. Now, the cosine rule, let me call this, let me call this the length of this side, common B. So, applying the cosine rule, we take this side, we square it. And then this side square is equal to the other side, other two sides square. So it's equal to 8.1 square. 8.1 square. Plus 15.4 square. Minus 2 times 8.1 times the same two sides, 15.4. Cos of the angle, cos of the angle formed by these two sides. I so the opposite angle to this side you started out with. So cos 32. And therefore, b square will be equal to, I can use our calculator and do this one time. So we have 8.1 square plus 15.4 square minus 2 times 8.1 times 15.4 cos 32 and that's 91.2 right so in one word that's 91.2 all right. And then, we, then B with the square root of 91.2. So the square root of 91.2, that is 9.5 since. So they're using one decimal point, so this one nine point five centimeters. All right, so this, this, let's move this. So the length of this, length of this side there is 9.5 centimeters. Right here is 9.5 centimeters. What else were we asked to calculate now? Part B, we were asked to find angle bad. Angle bad angle B A D. So again we're focusing on the same triangle here. Angle B uh, triangle B A D. And of course sine rule could work. So we could say the sine of angle A or the sine which oh, so sine of A over eight over eight point one sine thirty two over nine point five. Alright, so we can say sine doesn't matter which one I put first the sine of thirty two over the opposite side, which is 9.5, is equal to the sine of A. And we do not know what A is, do we? Alright, so sine of A over the opposite side, which is 81, 8.1, sorry. Now we can do some transposing here. So we get 9.5 sine A equal to 8.1 sine 32 and what will happen now we need to find we need to find a but we have to find sine a first so we can divide both sides by 9.5 divide both sides by 9.5 so 9.5 into itself that's one so we'll have to just sign a sign a equal to my calculator 
8.1 times sine 32 equal divide by 9.5 I am getting 0 0.45 so sine A is 0 0.45 which would mean that A shift control shift second function sine 0 0.45 close and I get 26.7 degrees so this angle all right so this angle is 26.7 degrees let's do some geometry here now we know that all the angles in a triangle are 180 so this is this is 32 this is 26.7 so we can calculate these since all the angles are 180 we can just subtract these angles from 180 and we should get that angle so 180 minus 32 minus 26.7 so this is 121.3 remember all the angles must add to give 180 so can just double check that 121.3 now again all the angles angles on a straight line add to give 180 so if this angle is 121.3 we can therefore deduce this the other angle over here by just subtracting it from 180 and we get 58.7 remember angles on a straight line add to give 180 so this angle over here is 58.7 degrees the top triangle here and I'm sure that will help us to find that will help us to find the length of AC which is which is part C okay let's continue let me do part c there make some space and then do part c here let me do part c length of you can apply we can apply to this angle is 58.7 degrees so we can apply what can we apply to this now can the sign will work just a moment we could direct we recognize that this we could also find this angle Right, we could also find this angle because we know all the angles are 180 so that angle there angle c would be, would be 180 minus 23 minus 58.7 so this angle up here is 98 this angle here up here is 98.3 degrees so we have an angle and we have the opposite side so of course we can apply it and find ac using the sine rule so sine rule says the sine of an angle so we focus on this triangle here adc top triangle we're focusing on so sine of 58.7 over ac is equal to sine of an, another side another angle this angle 98.3 so it's equal to sine of 98 point three upon the opposite side which is nine point five and then we can do some transposing here so AC times sine I multiply both sides by AC nine point five or nine point five AC so AC sine ninety eight point three is equal to nine point five sine 58.7 and we want AC right so we can divide both sides by sine 98.3 so AC sine 98.3 sin 9, into itself leave one so I have one here and then so we end up with AC let's come over here is equal to let me just record the right hand side that's 9.5 sine 
that's equal to now divide the value now by sine of 98.3 and we'll end up with 8.2 centimeters right so the length of AC is 8.2 centimeters